Biological and agricultural engineering um, is somewhat connected to everybody's lives. When you think about how your food gets to the grocery store, what kind of processing it had to go to, who grew it, and how well was it grown, and what machines were designed to actually harvest it and provide it. If you think about some of the pharmaceuticals you might take because you have some disease that needs to be treated, or antibiotics when you get sick, or even all the way down to the yogurt that you eat. Biological and agricultural engineering is involved in that. If you also think about how clean is your waterways or are your streams eroding on the side in certain areas of uh, the natural habitats? Where are you getting the fish that you eat? Or how well do the fish survive in a particular stream? Biological and agricultural engineering is involved in that. The department is jointly administered between the College of Engineering and the College of Ag and Life Sciences. We offer two four-year degree programs, one in biological engineering and one that's more systems management. It's called the Agricultural Environmental Technology degree. My name is Reed Huntley. And I'm a senior in biological engineering, environmental concentration. With my degree, I'm going to go to work doing stormwater design and stream design for a consulting firm in Raleigh. Stormwater design refers to the network of drains that capture the rainwater and take it to other places such as rivers or water treatment facilities. That is very important because without it we'd have flooding everywhere. All these places that water cannot get into the soil would flood, such as your roads, your houses, and driveways. I've actually been involved with undergraduate research on three different projects. Right now my project that I'm most excited about is working with purple sweet potatoes and I'm analyzing the conversion of the starch to sugars that can be then fermented into bioethanol. It's a more sustainable technology compared to regular petroleum-based fuels. We're trying to be more independent from fossil fuels. So with this technology, we could actually grow these types of sweet potatoes in North Carolina especially and use them for our bioethanol that can go in cars or um, be worked in the farm or anywhere else. One of the unique things about the Biological and Agricultural Engineering Department is once the students are seniors, they are able to uh, participate in our capstone senior design course and that involves the students taking all their engineering skill sets and all their coursework and being there presented with a problem and they take all their background knowledge and try to design and find a solution to that problem and more often than not that involves them designing and fabricating some system that by the end of their degree program they can say I did this and this is mine. Our senior design project is actually a uh, self-propelled one-row planner for uh, organic farmers. And uh, organic farms usually tend to uh, have high residue crop coverage because they don't use herbicides or other sprays. So our planter unit is basically built for them to be able to cut down on time and money in the planting stages. The first three years that you're in school, you really don't think you, you know, you've learned a lot, you just took classes. But then, like I said, once you get your hands on a project, especially like in the BA departments that you have to do a hands-on project, it really amazes you how much you've picked up through the years and how much you can incorporate that in a project like that. I was very good in the science and technology area, very good in math. So I really wanted to try out engineering, but I didn't know what area. And whenever I saw the bio and ag engineering area, I thought it would be very specific and very hands-on, and it turned out to be. Most of our courses that are taught in the department have a lab associated with them. So those students who like activity and those students who like to have more hands-on activity so they can tie it back to the theory are going to benefit from those kind of practical examples. We've done that by being able to design like growth chambers and actually do uh, water restoration streams and things of that nature. So they've allowed me to bring uh, these concepts and actually implement them into projects where I feel like I'm getting hands-on experience before I actually get out there in the workforce. In 
In addition to that, the BAE department holds its own engineering career fair. So they bring in companies that are looking for BAE students. And because of this, uh, I was able to get a summer internship last summer, which has turned into a full-time job offer. And I've accepted the offer and will begin once I graduate. Students who graduate from our department really have no problem finding a job. Our class sizes range between 10 to 25 students, so they get a lot of individual attention and the faculty can actually focus on their individual learning. If you can't get help from them, it's your fault, not theirs, because they're more than willing to be there for you. When I came to State, uh, I really didn't know anyone. I was a transferring student, a lot older than the average student as well. I was a little concerned about uh, maybe how I was going to fit in, about networking and things of that nature. I came into the BAE department. Uh, all my friends or peers um, were very welcoming. The teachers are very welcoming. It's a very family-oriented department, and I know all my students by name. We try to provide a fun and relaxed atmosphere while still maintaining a challenging learning environment. I tend to think that students learn best when they're having fun, and I think the rest of the faculty believe in that too. We do a lot of community service activities, which include stream cleanup and stream restoration. We do drought-related activities that include making rain barrels or cisterns for home use. And we really just stay focused on our schoolwork, and we play hard as well. My personal experience has been great. I, I mean, I love it, and I'm not a school person. Uh, you know, I coming coming to college, I was just here for the, the extracurricular activities. But once I found the BA department, I, I mean, I, like I said, I love it because you know the class is more interesting. The faculty and staff are more than willing to help you. It's really like a like a smaller family. They open you up and allow you to realize um, the potential. Um, that you have to do great things. Why would you go anywhere else?